Hi, this is Henry Chamberlain and welcome to Board Briefings. Well, I think many of you know I came out of the public relations and marketing side of the industry, press office for a national campaign, some PR firms, USA Today, doing corporate communications as the paper was rolling out. So I've always thought of communications as a great vehicle for building business and building brand in the marketplace. But I don't think of it as a difficult assignment. So I've got one thing I'd like you all to think about as your board gathers for a coming meeting and that's think about doing a communications audit of the things you're doing. Now, large associations, many of you have communications committees or PR committees, you've got a whole plan out there. So I am talking to you to a degree because you can always identify gaps, but for the medium and smaller associations, think about what are the things that you're doing right now to get attention in the marketplace. Are you writing press releases? If you are, have you designated spokespeople have you identified topics that you want to talk about? Are you working your luncheons the way you might? But how are you reaching out to the media in your market and saying, Bowman's got some great things going on. We're the leading organization in our group. We've got some great people involved as well. And we have some great stories to tell, which your readers are looking for. So when you're doing an audit, here are the things I'd like you to think about. Number one, who are the folks who handle media for you? Um, does your chair or president do that? Do you do that in partnership with your BAE? Do you have a member um, that's really interested in that topic that can help you with that, or do you have your own committee? So identify the volunteer and staff resources you have to put into that topic. Then if you are doing some media relations, what are the outlets that you're working with? Are you, are you doing things with the local newspaper? Are you working with the local business journal or other magazines? So what are you trying to reach? And then I also want you to think about the events that you have going on during the course of the year. You've got officers coming in, which represents companies and stories about the individuals. Many of you have Toby banquets, so you've got a Toby competition, best buildings in the marketplace, which is a story to talk about. You've got terrific luncheon speakers, we are known for that. Mayors show up, local politicians, business leaders, economists. If you have a couple good events, are you having somebody write that up? quote or two, five great things that came out of it, getting out that press release. So identify how many different events potentially you might have. You've got the resources already identified in terms of who can write that, who can act as a spokesperson, and then it's a matter of reaching out to those media outlets. And you can do it in a variety of ways. You can send out press releases the old fashioned way. You can email them out. Um, I'm on Twitter. You know, people follow me on Twitter, so when I identify speeches or places I'm going to be or material I've got, I've got reporters that are following me. So it's very easy to create a little Twitter account. People follow you on LinkedIn. It's another place to post uh, news releases and all the rest. So there are lots of different ways to reach out to the media as well as you can invite them to cover your events. But your assignment is, and you can whiteboard this, what are you doing around communications and PR? What, who are the people that are involved? Who can write that? What are your media outlets? And think about the business of it. Identify your gaps, the bigger ones, so you can maybe think about doing a little more. For the smaller ones, start putting together that plan. We will also put together an outline of how that can work on our website. I'd like to offer up Laura Horsley, our Director of Communications, who can help you develop those plans. I come out of that side of it as well. Love to get involved with that. But think about what more we can do with communications that builds the brand, it brings business back to us, and it's a win-win all around and exciting for your members as well. Thanks.